Google just released the Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. Have you been wondering how to get into cybersecurity with no degree and no experience? Well, then you're not gonna wanna miss this course. So what is it? What can it do for you? Everything. <laughs> the certificate does it all. There's the basics, networking, security, coding, portfolio-ready projects, and there's even coaching on how to prepare for job interviews. See ya, CompTIA, your old news now. It's the ultimate foundation of knowledge and you can link it in your LinkedIn. Has Google dethroned the king CompTIA? I think so, and it's about damn time. Let's get into it. So the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate is available now on Coursera. Link is down below in the description if you wanna go to it right now. And this is, I kid you not, a certificate for somebody with no degree or experience. This is free to check out for seven Seven days, you have absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. You could finish half the course in a week before canceling like every other free trial you ever do. So what exactly is included in this course? So if you click the link and you follow along, you'll get to this page here. You'll wanna make an account if you don't already have an account. Click the enroll button and you'll see here, you got a seven day free trial, unlimited access to all the courses. You can cancel anytime, there's no cancellation fees. It's $49 per month if you continue to learn after the free trial. So it gives you a seven day period to figure out whether or not this is for you. And once you're done with the certificate, you can put it on your resume, LinkedIn account. CV is a fancy British word for resume. So what does it teach? Well, this is a eight course professional certificate series. It is made up by experts at Google. You'll see also at the top here, it says that this takes six months at seven hours a week to complete for a grand total of 168 hours. Wow. So this is perfect for those of you who are stuck at a nine to five with two and a half kids and you only have about one hour a day to spare. Or if you're like me, you'd spend two weeks at 12 hours a day and finish in exactly 14 days and land that security job. You're two weeks away from a sweet security gig. Okay. So what does it actually teach? So the first section is foundations of cybersecurity. This is the core knowledge that you need to know. It also goes over infosec, historical attacks, ethics. Ethics are huge because you don't want to be a hacker. You're a white hat. And then it also goes over NIST framework. And this is a government framework. It's the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Once you complete that, you move on to play it safe, managing security risks. And you actually get to go into SIEM tools in this section. You get a taste for frameworks, threats, risk, and vulnerabilities. This is like the CIA triad. You get to use playbooks to respond to threat, risk, and vulnerabilities. That's what I do on my day-to-day -day basis now. I go through playbooks and all of our incidents. And we use automation to complete remediation tasks. This is huge. And then again, it goes over more NIST framework. Third on the list, you have connect and protect networks and network security. So this teaches you networking. It defines the type of networks, components of networks, illustrates how data is sent, received over a network, packets, how packets move through a network, IPs, IPv6s, IPv4s. Understand how to secure a network against intrusion tactics. This is like ACLs. This is all stuff that I learned in my one and a half years of networking classes. It goes over the TCP IP protocols, cloud networks, network security, all the networking basics all in 14 hours. Then it goes into Linux and SQL. These are both things that I had classes on. I had a Linux class and an SQL class. So it explains the relationship between operating systems, application hardware. I mean, this is all just stuff that you need to know. You need to know Linux, you need to know SQL, you need to know Bash, you need to know these operating systems to go into cybersecurity. And here you go. Next is assets, threats, and vulnerabilities. I had about three or four classes on this. Classifying assets, you analyze attack services, risks and vulnerabilities. This kind of goes deeper into the weeds. Identify threats, social engineering, malware, web-based exploits. This is all fantastic stuff. This is teaching you everything that you would need to know. And then you do some threat modeling. So this is all stuff that I've done in my degree. Detection and response, sound the alarm. So this is like a SOC position certificate almost, where it's teaching you about incident response, how to handle playbooks. Like this is all great stuff. You're identifying steps to contain, eradicate, and recover from an incident, incident response, analyze packets, that's again, part of my job now as a security analyst, understanding basic syntax, components of signatures and logs, IDS and NIDS tools. This is, again, I cannot stress how all of this is stuff that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Performs queries and SIEM tools to investigate an event. Need I say more? And then in course seven, you're starting to round out your knowledge. You go into automating cybersecurity tasks with Python. I've been asked so many times, do I need to know coding? You don't absolutely need to know, but it definitely helps land that job. And Google knows it, 
The professionals know it. You can get by without it getting into an entry level position, but it can only help your odds of landing that job. And here you go, you've learned Linux Bash, which is the type of coding, SQL, which is again, database coding, and then now you have Python. I personally learned Java for the most part. We touched on Python just a little bit in my coursework. Knowing a coding language is gonna get you further in this career than not. And then last, but certainly not least, you put all the sections previously to work. <laughs> you combine all of the things you've learned and you prepare for those interviews that you're gonna to try to apply for. You determine when and how to escalate a security incident. So this is going along the lines of a security incident role. I almost feel like they should have named this certificate the Google Cybersecurity Analyst Certificate because everything they've mentioned in this, SIEM tools, incident response, automation, like this is built for a SOC analyst person. <laughs> So, and since I took a poll a few weeks ago, I know that most of you watching are looking for a SOC analyst position. Well, here you go. It also teaches you how to engage with the cybersecurity community so you stay in the loop, which is very important. You gotta know about new threat actors and engaging and communicating with your cybersecurity professionals and peers is crucial in staying ahead of the game. And then most importantly, the purpose of the certificate is to find and apply for cybersecurity jobs and prepare for the job interviews. All right, so jokes aside, I think this course is great for a lot of people that have been commenting down below on how confused they are and where do I go to get started. Now this might not stand out quite as much as the Security Plus or the Certified Ethical Hacker or the CISSP or other well-accredited certifications, but Google is backing this certification and Google has an infinite amount of advertising and reputation. So it's only a matter of time before this certificate gets launched into the stratosphere and starts orbiting the heads of HR. So if you've been putting off getting started because of how confusing it is out there, you don't know where to start, you don't know what is the correct path, what exactly do I need to know? This is one thing that you can do today to finally get the ball rolling and start going towards your cybersecurity career path. What have you got to lose? Well, exactly $49 a month, that's not bad. So if you've been putting off getting started, today is your day, click that button. You have a seven day window to try this out, see if it's the right path for you, see if this is something that you wanna continue with and maybe complete the course. And then you have at least some foundational knowledge to back you up as you start to move through your cybersecurity career. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you'd like to see more tips and advice on how to land a cybersecurity job from a guy in a mask, then hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.